when you own it, you are more likely to love it. Let me give you an example. There's a company I read about. This is an awesome company. You know, the company was going broke. They were having a turbulent period. Do you know what its, its employees did? The employees of that company got themselves together and went to refinance their homes and get money to bail out their company. They said, this company must not die. And when I read that, and I heard about that, I said, that's what I want to see. Now, does the love get deeper than that? All right, so how do we get there? How do we get there? All right, you're going to have to take ownership that this is mine. You know, I always tell people, I'm an employer, and I say, you know what? Um, everybody that works for me or works with me can decide tomorrow, you know what? I'm going. Where will I go? So, <laughs> you need to settle it in your heart that I am working for myself. This is not a stepping stone. This is home. We must create the environment for that. We must identify what I call the social benefit of working at Barclays. If financial benefit is greater than social benefit, people don't do anything dramatic or remarkable because they're just getting what they're working for. But if we can create social benefit that is greater than financial benefit, people will stay. At that point, people are not just working for money anymore. Now, what do I call financial be uh, social benefit? Social benefit, those are the benefits that come to you just because you are working with backless. Do you know there are certain people who will pick your phone today just because you work for Barclays. That's social benefit. Do you know there are people that because of your interaction today, you can call, all right? And they will listen to you. And you can you build relationships that will help your children, help your nephews, help everybody, just because you are at Barclays. So, when we talk about brand love, this is where it starts with you okay this is where it starts with you that wow this is what this is my backless story all right and every one of you should have your backless story isn't it before backless and then now we must keep the stories alive and those are the stories we must keep telling so the new people coming into Barclays, guess what? Those are the stories they will hear. And that way, guess what? You love your brand so much, you're so enthusiastic, and guess what? Enthusiasm is contagious. If we do not stop saying these stories, then we will always keep the faith alive. Isn't it? Never forget the Barclays investment in you. The more you talk about it, the more you encourage yourselves about it, the more you have gatherings where you deliberately talk about your backlist stories. Guess what? Faith is rising, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you're always going to be so grateful. You're always going to be so excited. And guess what that will do? When you are now relating with customers, how do you think it's going to be? Mm -hmm. You are just really, have you received? Really, you. You just give it. It will just flow. The only thing that can short circuit this is when you don't talk about it. Yeah, I have an example of a story of, of, of good service. I used to work for Safarico. Four months. Can you guys just walk across the fence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Four, four months into the bank now. Now, uh, this dates back to 2008 when I was joining uh, the company. At that time, they had just uh, launched a PESA. It was one, one year old. Uh, there were a lot of issues on the system. It was not possible for them to do reversals on real time. So we had a customer who had lost a relative and they were going to pay for the mortgage fees. So they went to a dealer to withdraw money but instead of withdrawing money, they bought airtime. 
and uh, we were talking about 15,000 shillings. It was uh, a lot of money. And it was an old guy, uh, very emotional. He actually broke down and started to cry. And he was asking, you know, uh, what's going to happen? I know the system had challenges. And for a fact, airtime reversal was not possible. And it was a business decision because airtime meant revenue for Safaricom. So it was not possible to reverse airtime. Uh, but uh, 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 we had a sales person who was present when that transaction was happening. And it was, it was raised by the agent because the agent could not help. He said this guy came to withdraw, but they bought airtime. I mean, it's not with me. So this uh, sales guy on the ground spoke to the customer and told the customer to calm down. Told the customer, forward the airtime to me. Went to the ATM, withdrew the 15,000 and gave the customer. And let the customer uh, go. But then now, uh, went to the company and explained the scenario and uh, how uh, he had rescued the situation. To me, that was awesome. It's about how you make people feel. All right? How has Barclays made you feel? All right? It's a feeling. It's an experience, isn't it? And so, brand love, pass it on, isn't it? That's what, we, that's what we need to do. How has Barclays made you feel? Pass it on, all right? So when I say brand love, tap somebody next to you and say, pass it on, is that okay? Brand love, brand love, and brand love, pass it on. That's what we need to do isn't it? And it's all about how you make them feel. Now, do you know the interesting thing? People will forget your advertising campaign. People will forget your, all the great things you do. They may forget all those things in the papers. They may forget, but you know one thing they will never forget? How you make them feel. Remember how the bank made you feel? Pass it on and make somebody else feel that way. Because people will never forget. One level is customer service. There is a higher level. You know what it is? Ambassadorial service. When you move from being a customer to being an ambassador they are totally different because you see the customer is there when things are good the ambassador is there in fact the, the value of the ambassador comes when things are bad the ambassadors are made through experience and so we need to now have our focus on creating ambassadors tell that story to yourself every day all right and every day you tell that story you are recounting brand love that you have experienced and what do you do pass it on so brand love brand love 